Good morning. Let's kick off our week spending some time in God's Word and some time with Him as we do our soap together. And we're going to start today in Genesis, the very first book of the Bible, because we've been studying the days of creation. So get your Bible, get your soap book, and let's get going. We've got a pen too. So Genesis 1, 20 through 23. You can read along uh, in your Bible or you can just listen. Then God said, let the water swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with the birds of every kind. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that scurries and swarms in the water and every sort of bird, each producing offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God blessed him saying, be fruitful and multiply. Let the fish fill the seas. Let the birds multiply on the earth. And the evening and the morning pass, marking the fifth day. So as we look at this verse, these verses about day five, we see that God created the fish and the birds. And then, well, that God created them. He just spoke them into existence. So that's amazing. That's a big observation. And then we say, see that God said, each produce of the same kind. So fish made more fish and birds make more birds. That's important. And then the evening and the morning passed, marking the fifth day. So another day. And then, let's see, what else do we see here? And then God said it was good. So some good observations that we can then apply to ourselves. Again, if God just said, let the fish come forth and let the birds come forth, he's pretty powerful, pretty amazing. So again, we think about who God is. We think about how big he is. I got to drive out to see some water this weekend. And I stood there to look at the big body of water and I realized how small I am. And that's a good thing. Because I saw how big God is and how big his creation is and how amazing it is. So it just reminded me that I serve an amazing God. Even though I'm small, that he takes care of me. And as, as I was walking on the beach, um, there was a little bird and he was missing a leg and he was hopping on one leg and he was taking care of himself. And I thought, you know, God knows that little bird's missing a leg because the Bible says not even a sparrow falls that God doesn't know. And that little sparrow is, is surviving. So even in this crazy time that I can, I can survive too, trusting God and resting on him because he will take care of me because he said he would. And the Bible tells us just how great he is. Now, the Bible says that they produce after their own kind. So fish make fish and birds make birds. And that's how God intended it. And then God said it was good. So when God looks at his creation, he says it's good. And when God looked, we created Adam and Eve, he said it was good. And when God made you and me, he said we're good because we're made in his image. And he loves us just like we are, but he wants us to be more like him. And so that's why... We've been practicing our verse about putting on our new nature, renewing our mind, so we can learn to know our Creator and become more like Him, because He wants us to be more like Him. And then again, I love it in creation, and evening passed and morning came, marking the fifth day. Like I said before, a day is just a day. Let's make it a good day. Let's make it a great day. And be thankful for what God's given us. Be thankful for the creation. I love driving around and seeing all the different kinds of birds. It just, it's just such diversity and beauty in God's creation. And so be thankful today for all that God's done for us. So as you think about today, remember God is great. Remember he has a purpose and a plan in creation. And that he thinks that we're good. He created us and said, you're good. And then evening and morning mark a day. So a day is a day. What are we going to make of it? We can make it a great day. We can make it a bad day. Remember this, if you have a bad day, tomorrow is a new day. It's a new day, a new beginning with our Lord. Let's pray. God, we thank you for your love and blessings. We thank you that you're part of our life. We thank you that you are great and that you created this amazing world. And Lord, you did it just by speaking it into existence. And that's awesome. And God, we, we're just thankful that, that you see us and you love us. Your word says we love you because you first loved us. And that's an amazing thought. And then, God, you give us each day as a gift. So we thank you for that. And Lord, help us to take today and make it the best possible gift that we can make it 
a day of praise and thanksgiving to you. In your name we pray, amen and amen. Have a great day.